from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Monday, August the 23rd, 2021. Violent riots took place this weekend at Israel's border with Gaza. The IDF tweeted on Saturday that hundreds of Palestinian rioters gathered along the security fence in northern Gaza. The army said the rioters attempted to climb the fence and hurled explosive devices at IDF troops. During the violence, an Israeli border police soldier was critically injured by live fire from Gaza, apparently by a rioter who went up to the barrier wall, took out a handgun, and shot through an opening, hitting 21-year-old Barel Hadaria Shmueli at point-blank range. Shmueli, an IDF sniper, was stationed behind the security barrier. Shmueli was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett vowed after the incident, we will come to terms with Hamas terrorists and anyone who tries to harm IDF soldiers. And in response to the shooting and the violence, Israel's Air Force struck four Hamas terror targets in Gaza late Saturday. And today, incendiary devices were launched from Gaza at southern Israel, starting at least nine fires in the Eshkol Regional Council area. Prime Minister Bennett is readying for his visit this week to Washington. The Israeli Prime Minister will depart Israel late tomorrow and meet with President Joe Biden on Thursday. Where Bennett told his cabinet meeting yesterday he will discuss a number of issues, including the Iran deal. The prime minister said he will present to Biden an orderly plan that we have formulated in the past two months to curb the Iranians, both in the nuclear sphere and vis-a-vis -vis regional aggression. Bennett said, I will tell President Biden that it is time to stop the Iranians, to stop this thing, not to give them a lifeline in the form of re-entering into an expired nuclear deal. The U.S. Army conducted its first tests of Israel's Iron Dome battery. Israel's defense ministry said today that this first live trial took place back in June at the U.S. military's White Sands test range in New Mexico. If you recall, the U.S. purchased two batteries from Israel in 2019. Former Israeli Consul General to New York, Dani Dayan, has been named the new chairman of Yad Vashem, Israel's memorial to the Holocaust. Dayan said that leading Yad Vashem, the World Holocaust Remembrance Center, is more than a position, it is a mission, and one I take on with awe and reverence. Dayan said Yad Vashem is not just a commemorative endeavor. On our shoulders rests the responsibility to research and educate, to document and disseminate to validate fact-based historical truths about the Holocaust and reject all forms of distortion in order to safeguard the memory of the Shoah and to ensure that the Jewish people and humanity will forever continue to remember this event. Well, the Jewish community in Bahrain celebrated its first bar mitzvah in 16 years this weekend. The historic event took place at the House of Ten Commandments, which is the oldest and only operational synagogue in the Gulf Cooperation Council. It was organized by the AGJC, the Association of Gulf Jewish Communities. The AGJC's Rabbi Eli Abadi said it is a very exciting time for Jewish life in the GCC as more families celebrate Jewish milestones more publicly, noting a recent bat mitzvah in Oman and other upcoming events. Abadi said this is an affirmation of the continued growth of Jewish life in the region. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Monday, August the 23rd at 7 o'clock. It's the Wisdom of Dr. Ruth. At 7.30, Eli Kohanim speaks with Amid Derry and Majid Al-Sara, co-founders of Sharaka, the Gulf Israel Center for Social Entrepreneurship. At 8, Jonathan Tobin speaks with columnist Melanie Phillips about the surge in anti-Semitism around the world. 
At 9, Mark Golub speaks with Mordechai Kedar on L'chaim. At 10, a discussion on Jews and Jesus from the 92nd Street Y. And coming up next, it's Good Week, Israel. And that's the JBS News Update for Monday, August the 23rd, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.